In the dream, it's another time. A desert city. There are Romans there, and they've taken the Christ. Their own God to be crucified. That's why the Romans have no souls. To kill your own God. There are two others, also crucified. I don't know if they're also Roman gods or not. He wasn't Roman. He was a Jew. They killed him because they were afraid of him. Catelyn, please. If you know anything that can help us... Anything... Please tell us. There are those who believe there is one God... ...and that Christ is his son. Who taught that... ...God is love. That the world will belong to the meek. That even the lowest, most wretched creature on earth has value and can be loved. Rome could not abide that, and they killed him. With that. A spear that can kill a god? the spear is neither evil nor good. Perhaps it depends on who holds it. Either way, its power is... I think about how we came to find it, and I think that maybe it was meant for you. Maybe. The spear has the power to change the world. It belongs in the hands of a leader. You could do anything with this, Connor. Do you realize that? Yes. So you'll have to search your heart. What is it you want to do? about that bloody thing. Heaven help us either way. Amen to that, darling. Peddling toothpicks now, are we, son? I came to change your mind. You don't seem to want to live. You declined my invitation to join the Confederation of Tribes, and that was a mistake. 
A leader can't afford to make too many mistakes. This is your chance to make the right choice. After I kill you, I want to carry your head around on that spear. It's you who's made the mistake, Paul. Well, you got guts. I'll give you that. What do you say we show everybody what they look like? As a leader, your first responsibility is to your people. And your people are best served by joining with us. Which makes perfect sense. Think about it. Killing you would be doing you a favor. Because you know what I say is true. Because a strong leader knows what's right for his people. Of course, I don't need you to tell me that. And what your people want is to unite with the Confederation. He wants what's best for your people, and so do I. I will not have you unite uh, against the Romans, you say. Full cooperation, exchange of ideas, weapons. 10,000 swords against the Romans instead of your hundred. This is my decision, then. The mountain people would benefit from this c confederation. It is an honor to welcome the mountain people to the confederation of tribes. We'll not join them. Your people defy you. It's a lie. They will follow you? Yes. Prove it. Bow. I'm not going to... As a gesture of your conviction, bow. of tribes. The prince rode from village to village, clan to clan. No one could resist the power of the spear. Soon, warriors would lay down their weapons at the sound of his name. So powerful had he become. But there was a price. As the spear gave power, it ate away at the soul. Soon, the whole land was following a leader whose heart had turned to stone. Tell you. Why not? It's terrifying. It's too much for such young ears. No, 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 no. You have to. You'll have nightmares yeah. for weeks. No, we no. won't. Come on. It's not true. Please. All right. Here we go. The prince was feeling like everything was under control. But he couldn't have been more wrong. Brad, the mountain people. Angris of the river source. Vaten of the Boyne. Dermot of the Highlands. Connor of the Confederation of Tribes. Tomorrow we begin the Eastern Sweep. The lowlands, the cliffs, and the river people. It will be a two-week campaign, which is all we can risk before the Romans start to build their defenses. Till tomorrow.
Oh, Fergus. You left this at the meeting. Thank you. That's your father's sword. I know what it is, Fergus. You've got something to tell me? Fergus, you think I've lost the way, don't you? You think I've forsaken my father and everything he stood for? You think I've gone crazy with the power of the spear? Don't you see, Fergus? This is my father's dream. <laughs> 